Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, so I kind of did a video about this yesterday, but I, I changed the title of the video. Um, but let me go more in depth with this one because I, I didn't know that uh, it was really that serious. I thought just Tony Bellew was talking about fighting Dave or fighting. Deontay Wilder after he defeated David Hay because you know he's 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 amped up he just got the upset victory a lot of people were picking against him um he just beat David Hay you know so I thought he was just saying hey I'll fight Deontay Wilder next just because he's 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 amped up he's uh you know animated as he should be after an upset victory over David Hay now rather David Hay um I, I believe they're saying that it was a ruptured Achilles to his right uh his right foot so Yes, he did fight injured, but at the same time, that's why I keep telling some of you guys in the comments section, man. You guys keep telling me that I'm not factoring that in. I am factoring it in, but what some of you aren't factoring in is a lot of people were telling me, probably not you per se, but there was a lot of fans coming to my channel when I gave my prediction of David Hay um, eking out a close decision. People were telling me that I didn't know boxing and how do I even have a channel and I'm just a stupid yank and anybody that follows the sport knows this fight won't go past one or two rounds. You guys keep telling me about the round he got hurt in the sixth or whatever fifth. I'm telling what I'm trying to tell you is people didn't even think it was going to go that far. So for him to even go into those rounds to get to get injured to me was just like, whoa, I thought everybody said this shit was going to go 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Now, you may say, oh, those are just over-the-top hate fans. No, man, it was a lot of fans. It was fans telling me that they're Bell U fans, and this fight was not going to go one or two rounds. So for some of you telling me about the round he got hurt in, I understand that. But what I'm trying to tell you is people didn't even think it was going to go that far for him to get hurt in the sixth round because they kept telling me it was going to be a one- or two-round job, all right? But, yes, I, count in, I counted in the, the fact of David Hay getting hurt, and he wasn't as mobile, okay? You know, but like David Hay said, injured injured or no injured in this fight there would be no excuses so yes he got hurt but if the man himself is saying hey i'm going to fight with no excuses then i'm not going to have excuses for him although he did get hurt man and you're pretty much on one leg if you rupture your achilles you pretty much can't move you know what i mean so yes i factor that in but anyways man let me get to what the video is about um now like i said i didn't you know i thought he was just saying the name because he was hyped up but then I seen Eddie Hearn came out and they're at the presser and they're talking about Deontay Wilder, um, bringing him over here or bringing him over there and Wilder or Parker. And he was saying that they're not going to make no, you know, uh, that type of money anywhere else. And this is nothing against Tony Bell. You man. he fought a fabulous fight. I knew it was going to be competitive. You know what I mean? Um, but. I don't want to see Bell U fighting Wilder or Parker next, man. I, I want them guys to unify. I want them to fight these mandatories. Parker's fighting Huey Fury, and then uh, Wilder has a Stavern rematch. I would like for them to unify. I'm going to stay consistent. Yes, this was a big victory for Tony Bell U. Um, he, he did beat David Hay, a guy who I said was the wild card, and I explained myself in that uh, video, so I don't feel like doing it now. But I explained why I was calling him the wild card of the division. So, yes, you know, Tony Bell, you defeated him. Now, they were saying that possibly a rematch and probably closer to Tony Bell, you's home. I think it was a Goodison Park or Goodson Park. I forget how you pronounce it. But he was saying he, uh, probably have a fight there. Now, if Hay did injure himself, that means we have to recover from injury and then we have to do this all over again. So maybe Hay needs to just sit on the sidelines for right now. I don't know what Hay is going to do. But as far as uh, Bell, you fighting uh, Wilder, I would see Wilder knocking him out. Now, there's a lot of people, I've seen a lot of comments. People are saying, oh, hey, or uh, Bellew has a better resume than uh, Deontay Wilder now. Um, you can say, man, that, that David Hay is the bigger name out of anybody that Wilder's fought. You can say that's, I mean, that's pretty much, I would agree with that. But with that said, though, let's not go overboard here, man. Uh, you know, he got the win over David Hay, but David Hay is a lot different fighter, Um than these other guys and style makes fights and a fight he was trying to fight i broke this down in the uh, keys of victory hay makes himself even shorter you know because of the way he likes to have his head down a little bit like throw those fast combinations you know he makes himself although he's fast and powerful he makes himself even shorter you know what i mean so it seemed like bell was the six foot six guy in there yesterday you know what i mean by the way they're uh the style that hay fights in but with that said though um <clears throat> 
then he was just a standing target when he fucked his foot up. But with all that said, Wilder's a much different fighter. He has a way longer reach than Bell. He's going to keep him on the outside. And eventually, he's going to land that uh, right hand on him or that left hook. Um, and I just don't see how Bell you would try to attack Deontay Wilder. Um, as soon as he comes in, he he crosses that, land in the, uh, that line in the sand. I see him getting hit with right hands, man. I just don't see him standing up to that type of firepower. Um, for those of you that's going with him, that's fine. I know what you're going to say already. Deontay Wilder has no technique, no footwork. He's sloppy. He's wild. And what I keep telling you guys, okay, with that said, though, he finds a way to get these victories. And you can say dual puts garbage and spill puts garbage. That's fine. I don't, I don't even feel like arguing that shit anymore. That's fine. But I just think based on styles, from what I see, I see Wilder being able to knock him out. Um, and as far as him fighting Parker, Parker's more to his dimensions and, and height and size. But I think Parker is much more uh, stronger than Tony Bellew. I think his hands is faster. Um... I think his chin is tougher. I think if they're getting into any type of exchanges, I see Parker one of those exchanges. Um, and I see Parker being able to outquick Tony Bellew. You know what I mean? Um, now, some of you are going to say, well, hey, the, you know, you guys doubted him against, hey, we, we did. So I guess he'll have to uh, climb the mountaintop one more time for me. You know what I mean? He'll have to keep, continue to prove me wrong at heavyweight. This is heavyweight. I'm not, I'm not talking cruisers. I'm talking at heavyweight. You'll have to continue to prove me wrong. I will probably pick pretty much all the top guys i would pick over tony bellew and it's no disrespect he would just have to prove me wrong all over again and if he continues to prove me wrong then so be it i'll come on here and say hey bell you proved me wrong again you know what i mean but um now hay was rated highly by the wbo but when they refreshed the rankings fuck i i, I, I didn't forgot i know uh fury's getting he's the mandatory who else was highly rated I know once upon a time, Hay was rated very high by the... He he was going to be the mandatory. <laughs> but then he turned it down to fight Tony Bellew. Because the WBO was going to order the winner out of Parker and Ruiz to fight David Hay. You know, but... um, I know Jarrell Miller's rated highly. I know Christian Hammer's rated highly. I know Hay was number one at one point. These rankings, they refresh all the time. So, I don't fucking know, man, where... I don't have the rankings in front of me. But... Uh, could I see Tony Bellew, let's say Parker beats Huey Fury, or Huey, who, 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 whoever wins that fight, can I see them taking on Tony Bellew in a uh, voluntary defense? I could see that. I, I could see it happening, because he can use, hey, I beat David, hey, he was the guy that was going to be the mandatory, and I beat him. I totally understand that angle. You know, I understand that angle. Um, So I wouldn't put it past that fight not ever happening, but if you're asking me, I would way rather see Parker, Wilder get rid of their mandatories and then fight each other in unification fight. You know, um, Bell, you, you know, he can find the right heavyweight fight, I believe, like a Brian Jennings, um, Andrew Ruiz Jr. Now, some of these are, are high risk. I don't know how much money he'll make for some of these fights. But if you're looking, but if you're asking me, can he find some good fights? I mean, yeah, Tony Bell, you. Um, or not Tony, yeah, I think Tony Bell, you can fight, uh, Dillian White. I'm not sure if they're friends or whatever, but I mean, there are some guys that are around his height and reach to where I think he can make, you know, it might be a competitive fight. Who knows? You know, but if you're asking me, should he fight the Wilder or Parker next? I wouldn't want to see it. I'm going to stay with what I've been thinking about. And that's unification, man. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about this? What do you think Tony Bellew's chances are against Parker, or Huey Fury, or Wilder, or even fucking if Wilder were to lose to Stavern? What do you think his chances are in those type of fights? Do you think, hey, this was just a great one-time victory at heavyweight against a rival that you've had and David Hay going back and forth talking shit? Should he move back down to Cruiser? But Hearn and, you know, Bell, you were kind of dismissing Cruiser a little bit. You know, I, I would like to see Bell, you fight the winner out of Marius Breedis and Marco Huck. I think Breedis going to win that fight. Somebody even said maybe a fight with Usyk and Unification. I mean, but he seems kind of dismissive of going back to Cruiser right now, you know? So if he wants to stay at heavyweight, hey, let him stay at heavyweight, you know? But for me as a fan, if he does beat another, or, you know, somebody that I consider a top 10 type of guy, it would be another upset, you know? Um, just my opinion. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you going to disagree with me. I can't wait to read these comments. As far as uh, how you guys would break down a Tony Bellew versus 
uh, Wilder, Stavern, or Huey Fury Parker type of fight. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out.